Her works include beloved scenes of the Low Country, Charleston cityscapes, marshlands, and all the flora and fauna we love so well. Artist Sheila Thompson is being featured at a gallery in Charleston's French Quarter and joins us now with the details. It's so good to see you, Sheila. Nice to see you. I gotta ask you this: You handed George H. W. Bush the White House. I did. I did. Of course, if people have been in Charleston for a long time, they probably would recognize the little Sheila houses, which was made out of wood. And um, we did that from 1975 until probably about 10 years ago. And it just happened that uh, Bush was running for president and just happened that I had made a White House. Somebody said, well, what would you like to do with that? And I said, I want to give it to him. So when I handed it to him, I said, I'm giving George Bush the White House. <laughs> so that was kind of the joke of the whole day. <laughs> that is it. Well, the but joke made fun. headlines. So that's really impressive, Sheila. Um, since then, since moving on from those little houses that you were creating, that you've also now put your work onto canvas. And what is your medium? Well, uh, most of the time I use acrylic or oil. I do. I go back and forth between both. And sometimes I use acrylic at the bottom and oil on top. So, you know, I'm kind of one of those artists that kind of like to break what is the normal thing to do. I see. And I think that's just who I am as an artist. Well, the piece behind you is beautiful. What do you call this one? Uh, this one, uh, this one is the uh, turtle with friends. Is this one, the, what, the big and one, this one of course, is Rainbow Row. And I've done so many rainbow rows in my lifetime that it, this is just another version of another rainbow row. <laughs> I see, I see. Well, you've been at it for about 40 years. 1975. Just incredible. Um, I'm not gonna tell you how old I am though. <laughs> well, age doesn't matter. It's how you look and you look fabulous. Uh, you were born you. in Nashville, but you moved to Charleston, South Carolina. It seems like Charleston really has a special place in your heart. Well. Uh, it's so different from living in Nashville, Tennessee. I thought I was going to be a country music singer and picker, and that didn't work. <laughs> so my husband got transferred here to Charleston. And, and of course, seeing Charleston back in 75 when there wasn't so much tra traffic and all, I can remember looking at trees with wisteria and just almost running off the road because it was just so beautiful. And um, so, you know, Charleston was a big difference from Nashville, Tennessee, but we now we wouldn't want to live any place else. Well, your art certainly makes an impression on the people who collect it. Uh, right now you have a showing. Can you tell us what the gallery, where the gallery is located? Which one? Yeah, it's uh, the Low Country Artist Gallery uh, and it's on East Bay and all the, you know, the people here in this gallery, it's a great gallery to be in. If I had to choose for the very first time to be in a gallery, I chose this one. So you know what? I did a really good thing when I chose this one. Yeah. So it's a great gallery. Everybody in here is nice and open. And so I'd like to see a whole bunch of people come down this week. Yes, definitely. <laughs> How many pieces of artwork are you showing? Uh, probably about 12 on the front. And this is the permanent one here. And I think there's about maybe 10 on this piece. Okay, so people need to go down to Low Country Artist Gallery. That's in Charleston's French Quarter. It mm -hmm. is free to go. I uh, like to, if you love something so much, you can buy it and you can hang it on your wall at home. This is happening now through September 30th from 10:30 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily. Is there going to be an opportunity for people to come and meet you personally? Well, um, it maybe I might oh. see in here a couple of times. Who knows? But um, but the nice thing about it is is that it's a uh, you know it's been very enjoyable to be able to show it in the front as well as in the back of the gallery. So that's been nice. Most definitely. And Sheila, one last question for you: What are you working on currently? Uh, currently, marsh scene. Believe it or not, as if no one else paints marsh scenes, but you know everybody's look a little different. Yes. And they are so beautiful here. I yeah. can never stop looking at the real oh, thing. No. I would love to have it hanging on my wall too. Sheila, well, it was such a <laughs> I will. It was such a pleasure to speak with you. We're going to share all of that information with our viewers. Thank you. Thank you for having me today. We're back in two minutes.